Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas Rivas. I talk about stuff and stuff and today we are talking about Halloween. Um, it is my favorite holiday. It is coming to a close as we are approaching uh, the 31st. Um, I love this holiday. I love the season. It's been one of the best. I've hit all the spooky stuff I wanted to hit in my town. I went to California and did Hollywood Horror Nights. I watched every scary movie I could watch. Uh, and then when we pass out candy and basically celebrate uh, with food and sweets, and that's how you know you had a good one. And then for me and for those who celebrate it, it's the uh, Dia de los Muertos not too long after. So you have uh, pretty good stuff if you are a spooky fan. Uh, it's a beautiful holiday, beautiful time. Being in Arizona for the majority of my life too, it's also a signifier of cool weather, nice livable life, um, and just the holidays and all around better times. I enjoy the later half of the year and then the beginning of the year. Summers can be rough and eh, even like not living in uh Arizona, like summers everywhere were kind of kooky and unless you're in school, summers aren't really like that crazy for me personally. Um, I've always liked the fall and winter and, and spring. Um, I think sports too are coming at like a pretty good high. And, uh, you know, you, when you get to like this, I feel like the summer months, you know, you're usually having like an NBA finals or something or, you know, the Super Bowl is over. So it, I feel like the big sports stuff, the big movies, I know you have blockbusters coming out during the summer, but I think a lot of the horror movies come out the best when they come around this time you also have some better drama pictures i just think it's a signifier for some pretty good times um and i wish it lasts longer i'm going to continually celebrate the spooky stuff the horror uh but you know what makes it so good is just the chillness of it all you know the quiet the cold um I'm not the biggest, like, I can't survive snow, but living in Arizona, it makes it, like, livable, amazing here. Uh, it's the best time, is that transition from October. And then overall, it's just beautiful vibes, just good times. Can't argue against any of it. And I don't know, I feel like maybe, maybe we're at a point where stuff is going way too fast. I'm looking at the year like, oh, it's going to be too fast. But when you get to this point, if you really soak it in, you can make it last long. This October has felt very long, and I've been really trying to stretch it out. So I think I was successful. Um, my goal from here is to still do some Halloween-y stuff. Um, I, I'm going to start making a show that's Halloween-based uh, on this channel. I'm going to post more about horror stuff i'm gonna make it so that i i really take in the horror and the spooky stuff i'm never gonna let it die also there's places like salem massachusetts where apparently people are flying out there to see like the spooky stuff um which is you know not necessarily my taste per se but it is kind of fun to indulge in that and, like it's just good vibes i think too you have a world where people are I think more inclined to celebrate like all the spookiness. And I think, you know, you can, you can do, you can do a lot of good stuff around this time that I feel like, um, I don't know. Like, I, I think I can see myself doing like a horror theme escape room. I can see myself watching a horror movie and then having like a horror night, uh, in December. Like it's more, Except to just to keep celebrating it. A piece of me doesn't want to let it go. I, I love I love the spookiness. It's a fun time. But it also, you don't want to oversaturate, right? Like, there's a reason why Christmas is special. Because it happens once a year. So, you don't want to overindulge. But I think right now, um, I'm in a moment where I'm like, I really am just craving some more spooky stuff. I feel like it was enough. And I say that as someone who really tried to hit everything this year so it felt like it wasn't enough but it definitely was like it was I'll, there would never be enough you know and i think uh yeah it's it's easy to um it's easy to always crave more but it's it's 
you know, such a challenge to accept when like things are perfect. And I think it was, I think it was a perfect, perfect holiday. I felt good mentally. I felt good physically. I had everything I could do to make the holiday the best holiday it can be. And then tomorrow it's, you know, the bestest time ever. So you really, you just can't, you can't argue against how, how fun this year has been. Um, I hope it was for people. For me, it was, but, um, if it wasn't for you, I apologize and I hope things get better. But for me right now, I'm in my fifis. I'm feeling it. Uh, I would say this is one of the best Halloweens. I would say this is something where I think I, I can put it up there. I can put it up there. So, yeah. Um, I guess from here, I, I don't know. I kind of just want to, oh, you know what? While I'm at it, um, I did want to say too, I am not going to do any political videos since we're getting close to the election. So tune in for some of that. But I think, you know, yeah, I think this is like an, a recap of it all. I think this was as crazy as the year is with like it being an election year and how crazy things are politically. Um, I'm sure how the state of the world can you can look at the the dauntingness of the state of the world. Uh, I think overall things feel good mentally and I feel good enough to say that like I'm going to post nothing but non-political stuff because my channel is pretty politically focused when I'm not doing like video games and these like kind of chill talks so I think what I'm going to do is for the week of the the election the rest of my videos are going to be very uh, apolitical because I think it's there's something that people need right now we don't I've been discussing politics enough. I feel like I hit everything I need to hit. We are good. We don't need to hear about it for until they're done counting the ballots, which I think it's going to be like a few weeks. I forgot already how 2020 went. I think 2020 had it so that I think it was like the next week. Was it? Am I wrong? Was It, it wasn't two weeks, right? I, I, I vaguely remember actually having like a more set date. Um, or more like sooner date than I'm thinking, but I, but I, I could be wrong. I think right now the focus is to tone back some of the vids, um, cause I was posting every single day. I did my mission. I did what I wanted to do. I've never posted every single day for a month. I wouldn't do this for a full year because there's times you just don't really have much inspiration and that's fine. Like, I don't want to ever make something I don't want to make. But this challenge I gave myself, I'm really proud that I did that because uh, I don't think I would have ever done anything like that um, at any point in my life. I think right now I had such a good mentality, a good schedule, um, you know, uh, just good everything that, that made me able to do this. So, um no more daily videos. Maybe every other day is the goal, you know, but again, I don't want to force myself to making something. Um, if I can't think of something, I'm just not going to make a video. But this month when I tried that challenge of like posting every single day, you bet you, I, I had no like idea what I was making sometimes. And yet I still kept trying to make stuff. Cause I was like, it's my challenge. I set for myself. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So, um, even though, uh, I'm not, going to do this again i'm glad i did it like i don't want to i don't want to ever uh do this again because i feel like some of my videos kind of like got watered down because i was just trying to get something out there and I, that's something i've a big reason why i've never been such a consistent poster is because i'm consistently beating myself up like ah this could have been a better video so i i usually hinder myself and like i won't post stuff uh, i do this with my music too i'll hold off on my music because even though I've been working on one song for like five years, I'll keep pushing it and pushing it because ah, it's not good enough. It's not good. Enough. I'll keep saying that to myself. And so I've always looked at that with like a bit of anger of myself. So I'm glad I did do the whole, you know, uh, trying this posting thing I never done before to this capacity, but it's not a nice creative thing. You know, it made me glad that I can do it. It made me, happy that I could um actually like post something consistently and the month's not over yet I still have to hit tomorrow 
Um, and I have no idea what I'm going to do for tomorrow. I know what I'm going to film for some stuff for tomorrow, but for to post, uh, <laughs> no idea. Um, but that's the fun. That's the beauty of life there. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoy None of these videos have been anything that like I was ashamed of. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. There's been videos I look back at where I was like, I'm pissed that I posted that. Like, that sucked. Right now, everything's been pretty good. Everything, it's been annoying, especially to my mic. It's not picking up audio like it used to. It keeps making my voice robotic-y or makes the audio really low. So that's really annoying. Um, but besides that, I have feel like I have like nothing but incentive to keep posting and um, try to keep up with my schedule. At least hit the every other day mark. I think that's like a fair thing to hit. You know, the every other day point, um, especially too since I feel like I have a, my schedule down a lot better. Like I feel like I can really pin my video uh, as a whole, like when to post, how to post. There's been times I feel like I've looked at my camera. And I just didn't do anything with it. I just looked at it. Now that I feel like something mentally is, it's still there. I think that voice is still in your, in my mind. But like right now, I feel like mentally just a little bit different. I couldn't pin it. I, I don't know why. But I definitely feel a little bit more like willing to make stuff. Um, I don't know what switched. I don't know what, what changed. It was weird. I think, you know, it's funny. Even though I was doing, I feel like I was being motivated way before this. It's still funny to say, but like I, there was a point where I was watching this John Cena interview and it's been sticking to me where he's like, I think he was talking like Aiden Ross and he's been saying, he said something like really cool and everyone's been like quoting and saying like, oh my God, like how cool it is. He said like, did I earn this sunset? Right. And, um, like he thinks about that every day. Like, did I earn this sunset that I'm looking at? And I, that's what I've been like really sticking to my mind of like, did I earn this, this, this time to relax and be chill? You know, I think that's probably the thing that's been motivating me a lot in these past few like weeks, months, however long I've been doing this. So I definitely feel that like something is switching in my brain where I feel a lot more comfortable with the aspect of just posting, just doing something, even like some of my music that I've, I've been working on for like almost a decade. <laughs> um, I feel it in my heart that I feel good enough to like say, I'm going to post some stuff for my, my music and da, 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 da. like even just that thought alone, I felt like I would have never had, um, I couldn't tell you why, you know, I, I think there's something in your brain, things happen for a reason where I'm sure um, the, like I didn't make my stuff that I wanted to make then because I think the maturity I have now is just unmatched. Like I'm, I'm happy with how some of the songs are turning out that I've waited years and years to touch because I think the maturity that I've gained through those years, um, is just unmatched. So I'm hoping that's where that like procrastinator of sorts mindset even I don't even want to call myself a procrastinator it's not like I didn't like I felt like I tried and I wasn't wasn't happy with the items that I made so I just shelved it you know so I like the procrastinator thing it's more of like getting your mind thing where I think I've always done this to begin with I've always just kind of sat in my room talked about stuff and never really did much with it you know so now that I'm actually, you know, just try, just doing it. Like, I think this, the, the worst is just doing it. When I actually, like, start, when I pull out the camera, I, I make a vid, I edit it, everything's done. If I hate the video, then it is what it is. But it's getting to that point of, like, oh, I did it, you know? Um, when I can say I, I just did it, like, it, it, it makes you, like, kind of get out of your head a little. When you, like, basically just do something that you've been really itching to do something you've been trying to do for so long when you finally actually do it it is a relief um even again if, if i don't post i can say i just did it because the, the older nicholas would have just like i said stared at the camera or stared at my um stared at my my youtube channel and just thought about stuff but i never actually did that stuff and like that's i mean it's unhealthy it, I, I i don't know how many people have ever done that or been in that position of like i'm just not going to post because i just 
don't feel inspired and then sometimes you feel really inspired but you're doing something like if i'm at work there's been a plethora of times where i've been looking at stuff like my computer i'm at work but i'm like looking at my computer like man i wish i could just turn it on right now and work on something because i just have this cool idea and unfortunately like, you just can't you know as an adult you got to like work through the day and then you get home and you're tired and, and i think that's what's the most deadly part is when you're tired and you want to create something but you've you've already exhausted yourself at work and you know doing the big boy stuff so it's definitely it's not easy it's not something i think people really think about much either because i don't know i think you, you're you're creating stuff i've been i've been posting stuff so far every single day for this past month and i've been consistently more posting um since 2020 I've, I've been making youtube videos since like i was eight nine and never once have i been this consistent with with my post and for some reason 2020 clicked and i remember making a video about zeitgeist this like movie that our aunt was politically like preaching to the heavens and that's what kind of kicked in of like i gotta start making stuff like it just it bit me and even then like i did a, i did like probably one video in 2020 and then maybe i did another one in 2020 and like it was really inconsistent the editing wasn't there the content wasn't my like favorite um fast forward when um when i finished some of my more, most recent videos i've never been more proud i'm like damn that's a really good like it, it, i didn't have that feeling when i was making those videos back in 2020 um, so I think something's definitely shift either my like maturity, my vision, my consistency, something's definitely different. Like this Nicholas right now, even though I'm getting like maybe two views on most of my bids, I've never been more proud of like, man, at least I did it, you know, cause there's a whole population out there of people who haven't even put in the effort to put on your shoes and to go somewhere. You're already like beating half the population. So not to toot my own horn here, but like, I think it's fair to say that like there's been a lot of um there's been a lot of like struggling with creating content um and what was me it's like it's not like i'm murdering you know somebody or like fighting for my life like this is very minuscule in in in, in the world we live in but it's something i feel like if i didn't tr at least try to do uh, i would have gone crazy if I didn't at least, I don't want to be my deathbed saying like, I really wish I made like content. I've watched content. I've enjoyed content. And a lot of my stuff I felt like have been politically driven because people asked me in my life, like, what do you think of this? So I feel like my opinion had some value, even if it was just to one person. And, and I've recalled recently, I've been posting a stuff on TikTok and I usually have this guy who comments on my stuff and he has said some really cool stuff. Um, it just makes me so happy that like this this one person who's been watching my vids have been he's been saying stuff like um like sick vid dude like you know amazing as always like saying people seeing those type of comments like people are really digging the the view the videos i i couldn't even fathom how like amazing that is to see and and, and just to like relate to is is people just messing with my vids like that is that is something i don't think i'll ever be able to get over um even if again if like people aren't really digging the vids and like i end up just getting like two views uh, by the grand scheme of this stuff it's just a cool th thing to say that i did it you know like like there's nothing i don't think there's anything that can stop me from continuously making these videos even if i was just getting two views um but i think the thought of not making something is gonna like butcher my brain you know just the thought of 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 giving up would, would probably beat me up mentally so um i'm hoping that i can just keep making stuff I, I don't see anything hindering me from making anything and so i think give it more time i'm gonna be just even getting better so again like none of this none of this is 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 uh there's nothing on my radar like that i feel like i'm ever gonna just stop making vids and if anything like i said i'm gonna just keep making vids and getting better so yeah, take that society um i think this is a good place to end it because i feel like i've kind of hit all the points i wanted to hit but uh, thank you all so much and y'all y'all keep it real y'all keep it crazy and gabagool peace